guys, welcome back to the channel, Mountain Standard Time. Today, I'll be reviewing the only Rolex in my family. And unfortunately, it's not mine, it's my sister-in-law's. And let me tell you, she rocks it. It is a Rolex vintage bubble back. Let's check it out. All right, guys, here she is in all her glory. This is a Rolex Oyster Perpetual but most people give this the nickname Bubbleback. It is a officially certified chronometer. It is 32 millimeters wide, so it's a very small watch. Too small, I'd argue, for most men, but perfect for the ladies out there. So guys, if you are shopping for a unique, awesome watch for a lady, I can't recommend these Rolex Bubblebacks enough. Just beautiful. Uh, this one I have here is a 14 karat gold case. It has a white dial with the gold indices and gold hands with the black second hand going around there. Uh, I have it on a burgundy strap. Actually, I gave that to my sister-in-law and she put it on there and it just looks amazing with it. So um, just, just a gorgeous watch. Now, one thing I do want to point out with this watch's crown is that it doesn't have the normal crown logo that Rolex has. This has a uh, crown that says Rolex Oyster on it. So that's how they used to make them back in the day without the crown logo. The back is just plain, plain gold. And it's overall just a very simple, elegant watch. You can see there's uh, the loom on the hands are uh, pretty much non-existent. They're hanging in there, but there's zero uh, luminosity left on those. But again, this is a, a macro shot uh, to the average wearer or observer. You wouldn't even know that there were looms on this. Um, this is a, again, 32 millimeters wide. It is 13 millimeters thick. And the lug widths are 18 millimeters. So if you're looking for a strap, go for 18 millimeters wide. It does have a plexiglass crystal and uh, just everything comes together on this watch. It's, it is just elegant. You can tell by quickly looking at it, it's just a classic timepiece. Uh, again, this reference 5011, uh, from what I could tell, dates back to the late 1930s or early 1940s. I found a similar watch that somebody had referenced to 1938 exactly. So very beautiful. Uh, the caliber inside is a 630 caliber. It's an automatic. All right, guys, that's it for today. Thanks for watching the review of that bubble back. I hope you appreciated it. If you did, you know what to do. Please give me a like and subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon because coming up, I have purchased two brand new watches, two limited edition watches. I wonder what they could be. All right, guys, I'll talk to you soon. Bye.